Greetings from MRH of MRH Gitchy Services. Live in the set. Getting it done one more again. Undefeated. We're going to take y'all through some stats real quick. As we do this heavy bag there. Live in the set. So get to get to the stat break there. We address the expelling Alpha Lucy. Can we rain near heavens? MRH. The first alpha initials of Michael R. Henry. And the spelling of these in 1996. The Olympic year of the Summer Olympic Games held in Atlanta. Or with the original Greek gods called Atlantis, you have landed. Stuff you down out of the mothership into the land adjacent of Earth. MRH, Zimmer Day, your course was accoladed and awarded. With the blue chip all American at FWHF. Got her done. Kept the, the educational savvy, a true freshman undefeated. Brought that process with us from 92. As you very well know, South Africa. Won the Olympics, was reinstated from 1960. I maintained the true freshman undefeated, and that was the the first start of bringing fresh air into the mentioning on a collegiate and pro and Olympic level, where it would be true freshman undefeated as hell. Getting into the exact and forensic sciences, DNA testing, fraternity, having the ability to expel McKinley Rainier Helens and making fresh air as a true freshman undefeated. In the 12th grade year at FWHF, holding down rank as an All American. We had 197 nations in America. I was 17 at the time. Wasn't even 18, wasn't even old enough to go to the club yet. But was holding down, you know. Expelling McKinley Rainier Helen academically for the Olympic session in the making of fresh air as an Olympic athlete. So you hear about this now in our 4.0s, getting her done. You know, full power claim to the bent over raw, twist and grind it out. In our 40s, 400 pounds, 40, 4.0 GPA. And so we're releasing the private and confidential respects as patient care during the paternal process that now has reached 
the memoirs of the children being at 20, 21 years old of age. Having a, an ability to comprehend the personification of the atmosphere, true fresh oxygen, where things are how they are. So we do it, lift the weights, the new invention, heavy bag lift, so max weight, we got that at a long distance ratio. The full commentary breakdown. For the live in the set. So we here making this happen a lot. Season to season. So as we created fresh oxygen with the expelling of Kenley Rainer Helen. Leading off from the true freshman year, of course in 92, South Africa won the Olympic Games, took home, you know, golds and medals and all of that type of stuff. MRH, state true freshman undefeated with the expelling of McKinley Rainer Helen already in mind as the aforementioned process. And plan getting it done. Senior year hits, 12th grade. Right after track season. Olympic season is here. It's pumped up. So I didn't expect McKinley Rainer Helens. First oxygen is here. Atlantis has landed as the mothership on Earth. And it's all about how you hold it down. All about how you get it done. So we had that cognitive response that went undetected. Four stats and facts, of course, school credits and tax credits, and the private and confidential awares of patient care. So while the questions were be asked, you know, what's, what, what am I about, you know, after all of that, being awarded, accoladed, defensive player of the year, blue chip all American, 1996. We got the Olympic Games, baby. 197 nations in one spot. Competing. It's nation against nation. This nation shall rise against nation. This is ball. So, it's to those who got it done and the expelling of it, making it eternal through the paternal process, then getting into, of course, the deviation of reality. Being filed against as if, you know, I wasn't getting the job done. Because it was under private and confidential respect as patient care, no one could know. What MRH is holding down, you know what I'm saying? Through the awards and accolades administratively through the school, you know, with the International Council. So we held that down for 20 years. Child became of age, grew up learning and thinking that I was never there. So while the child was being raised, and I was raising the nations in pure, fresh oxygen, the breakdown, the consortium of reality, the flaw. Because you know how it goes. Now, who do you think he is? You know what I mean? Or, you know, what's he going to do? Or what's he know that I don't know? So the private and confidential reality all came about and knowing them, going through the process of so making a fresh air. This is the expelling the, the highest mountain peak in Earth, in Anchorage, Alaska, Denali National Park, original name, Mount McKinley, 
was expelled by Mike Henry. Now, I'm originally from Alaska, so I have that right to do so. Also, as a native Alaska, Native American, we went to hell and expel McKinley. Got it done in the Olympics set. When Atlantis was landing on the earth, you know, breaking down the heavens, the stars, the moons, the mothership, the Nubians, the mixed races, the hybrids, the pale, paleos, and of course, having enough consideration keeping it all private and confidential until the child is of age to have complete understanding. Now with this, of course, it was all opposition. That's why the demeanor, the denotation, paperwork, the clergy was all consistent to being laid on child support and orders failed. I was raising the nation in fresh oxygen. What this means is, is as all American, America was discovered finally without a volcanic reaction, without volcanic toxation, without volcanic poison, without volcanic gas, without volcanic fear. Without the volcanic, Hellenistic, burning in the lake of lava, spiritual guidance, intelligence, personification of man and woman on earth, existing together. So we broke that all the way down. We kept it private, confidential. 2021, they started hearing about it. What's this about? What's going on here? You know? And as it got displayed, it got displayed in its character, under people. So as realistic as it is to be undefeated, those who were against it became defeated in their clergy, in their system. And their process of what compile a case law against me was in my rage. Same DNA, same forensic sciences. All that. So we stepped into what causes that, what constitutes that, what makes that real. So we got into the breakdown of the Roman Empire. 1753 into the 1000, 1066, the Germanic stages, where they said the Anglo Saxon originated from, migrated to the Euro in Great Britain as descendants of their people and culture that were defeated as the Roman Empire by barbarians. Early 753s, year 1000s. And as they depict that and show it, and break it down to the original Augustus, Adesirios, and how the Roman Empire actually fell, as they say barbarians took it over through the Hellenistic time period. And they went through that process. And of course, three, 400 years later, you got Christopher Columbus, who from the Roman Empire or from Rome and the Roman descent 
discovered America through the process of the Roman Empire being fallen. So one empire had fallen in one continent, and in its root word, the Roman Empire, another settler from an original place, Italy, which is Rome, discovered America in the same correspondence of the Roman Empire being fallen. So America was built to fail as it was discovered. 400 years later, 1492, touched down, and the young Caribbeans rediscovered a nation that was bound to fall again. This is the being from Italy, it's you know, comprised city being Rome, but its statutes, you know, as the founder being from Genoa or Spain. Constituted the whereabouts of who discovered the Americas in the Caribbean state, 1492. My MRAs gave you the breakdown from 1492 to 1992, which is the 400 year period of the true freshman undefeated. What you gonna do? You got 400 years of being undefeated that's consisting with the discovery of America being founded. But it wasn't founded true freshman undefeated. But now it is. And it's 400 year marker. New rule, new rank. New game. How do you complement that? To be compiled as the truth, fact, stats. Time goes on. The second voyage of Christopher Columbus, 1496, is exactly another 400, 500 years to, I'm talking school years, 400, 500 years to 1996. So you got 1496 to 1996. Another 500 years is compiled. From 1492, 1992, 1496, 1996. You got another 400, 500 years compiled. Talking in school years, that's 400, 500 years. Where it is a stop. Kenley Rainer Hollins is depleted on the educational barrier of expel. X is solved for in the mathematical assimilation of trigonometry for the first time in the highest, biggest triangle in Earth known today. All this has happened. It's a gang time. No one knows. This is private confidential patient care. Child being born, Atlantis is touched down from the Greek mythology of Atlantis, which is a personification of the godship with the goddess in its determination of closer to being fantasy or unrealistic or mythology, but it found true through inclination, process, duration of time, and exact, it is exactly the supernatural, or as I explained, the phenomena, reasoning of happening. So, again, the dates and years all correlate and have prominent success in making sense. Stepping into the Roman Empire falling, and then having exact confirmation of the Roman Empire falling again, as it is discovered in its thousand year average. So from 753 BC to 16, excuse me, to year 1000, getting into 1066, 1100s, 
when the actual fall of the Roman Empire happened, broke down the thousand year barrier of the year 2000, having exact and complete concordance to two empires falling to the barbarian or barbaric state in time and placement again. We always compute the verses because you have a true freshman undefeated and the discovery of America. Then you have America being discovered non-volcanically, non-biohazardous, non-toxic, non-poison, non-gases by the expelling of McKinley, Rainer, Helen, Alpha initially, completing a process of finding America without it being fallen to its empire state or a systematic immunity. So we don't question why me, why him, because you're there, you're living through it. It was processable before it happened. So it was aforementioned as coming as it happened. You continue to do your everyday walk in life as you were considered anyway. So when you question why him and this and that, we was doing the same thing. And we're still raising above the status quo, going through the everyday walk of life, you know, fully committed to the success of what had already been established. It's just that it wasn't the fall and the demise and the Hellenistic, demonic, consortium of faith. This is where it gets good. This is where it gets favorable. But you can't ask me to present that unto you because you have your own system of communicating who you are, what you are, what you're about. My system got down like that. So no one knew for 21 years. So the child grew up through a nation that was raised as advised by Michael R. Henry. Volcano. So, when you have the reports of the mountain erupting, starting from earthquakes to uh, the latter day eruptions, you can get the breakdown the same way. The coincide of the same disparity of indifference and mean the same thing. make it available as consistency and the reality of its respect to the admiration of process. So no one knew, but through a whole paternal case until the child from birth to 18 or 21 was raised by the father in a nation that was not volcanic, comprised. Whereas the complete paternal file that would be against me registered disparity, the difference. A uh, child who was raised in a nation that is fully biohazardous and subject at any point in time to have that responsibility of bearing that character and that personification of person. So we didn't present that, so there is a difference. There is a communicative, eternal, creational scape that suggests there's a right way to do things. So we touch basis on, of course, fall of the Roman Empire, early 753 BC, early 1000s, 8Ds, 
and get into what happened a thousand years later in direct exact court. Of course, you have to have your opposition, but after you are learned and taught in that dichotomy, you understand complete opposition is what I did. So, in the conveyance of what that would be like, you actually lived through it. It's a better airplane. And the privacy and confidentiality of it being registered as game time during the Olympic Games, 197 nations are comprised of in 96. 2016, you have the same Olympic Games every four years, comprised of the same matter. 1992, you have the same Olympic Games comprised of the same matter. So this wasn't about accepting this to be a part of the process. It's just like anything else. So, if you're the competitor, competition to compete at that level in your event then that's what you do if I'm the education for the process to compete pass unequivocally and be undefeated that is the statutes that are set forth those are the stats that are realistic that is the truth that has been made manifest that is the order in the kingdom that is established. But as you go through every four years, the cumulative is 1,381 to zero. From 1992, true freshman year, true freshman year, undefeated, true fresh air, undefeated. Complimented it in 96. And broke down the experiment like a McKinley Rainier Helens Alpha Initiative and completed the process. Through expelling. Now, we step into dealing with the variable of supporting the spouse, the woman. And you have 1593. Now, 1593, Taj Mahal, the first princess was born in India. 1993, a true freshman undefeated was born. 400 years. Straight true freshman and undefeated dynasty established in the princess ship. Oh, of course, monumental history. That means in school, these are things that you learn about. You crack open a history book, you'll learn about India and the Taj Mahal, what it represents, what its culture is, who its princes are, who its princesses are. First princess, 1593, who entered the Taj Mahal, birthed and born. I would correlate from 1593 to 1993, a true freshman year in school years. So like 92, 93 would be the true freshman year. So that correlation is established. How we deal with the princess, the beautiful lady, 400 years just royalty and dynasty living in a whole other world and realm existing as beautiful as the true fresh oxygen that we made having it compiled to the privacy and confidentiality of the efforts that are now here today orchestrate the difference the disparity the communion 
that is so very well unbelieved through its characterization, but even through its weightlifting, the power claim to be a concern in this evolution where they took their stand and they stood in their place and they recognized it as being, you know, what they got to stand up for now. My facts are different. So we're not in a plaintiff defendant mode. This is undefeated. This is what I represent. This is who I am. You know your system fell through the Roman Empire, confirmed a thousand years later, the year 2000. We rediscovered America in 96 without fault from its most highest compelled source of nuclear power known today in Nerve. So they stayed what they call mobilized. So it's not a matter of teaching this and it being comprising of a lesson or a teacher's lesson plan. But it's a matter of telling it as a legend because it's not believable. Or the missus would be here wiping the dew from my brow as the sweat of my compassion and making each effort a long process of edification through support that will make her consistent throughout each element of reality. But that's not here. The child would be here asking questions. Having complete rapport in the 4.0 the visible to be at a standstill in its margin of incompetence and being competent. So there's nothing lethargic about this being long distance, but it is what it is. As we explain it, you have the fullness of time to understand you've came to your complete analysis and diagnosis through your breakdown. Now, we step into the medicine realm, undefeated. So we're dealing with private and confidential patient care, established by Michael R. Henry for the mother and child. But in the duration of the nations being applicable, as I am honored it is evident that providing true, fresh oxygen is where it's at. The disclosure, the privacy and confidentiality, all came about as just as aware as filing against me and being a security of breach. In this point, you will not find the divination of spirit. But as you see, the job is still getting done. The process of what it means. So the 1492 to 1992, the 400 pounds to the 4.0 GPA. The 4.0 GPA to 40 years, from 1996 to the 1496. Dealing with the spouse of issues. How we dealt with the first princess in peace, the Taj Mahal, studying it through our history books, the 
foundations of the earth, the first princesses that were accepted and realized in the heat of the day. Beautiful sunshine, remarkable talents, still found in its true freshman undefeated state. Comprised by men that put in work as in the confidence of learning and the reality of the lesson plan. So when you hear us tell it, this is what's in the books. This is what constitutes what we do. So it's not a immoral act that is inconsiderable to its knowledge base, because it's in the book. It's monumentally found. It's also systematic advising, but it's also found through the measures of how to do things appropriately. So, we have reached that impartation. It's true, it is real, it is here, it's tangible. Well, Earth, 1,381 nations, true, fresh oxygen supply with the expelling of McKinley Rainier Howlers off initially through the first Roman period into the second Roman period, which is the year 2000. Earthquake, year 2000. Year 2001, February 28th, 6.8, struck the Northwest. In its region, in its compass geographic, Northwest can constitute its compass geography, Northwest. But before that happened, the towers did fall in the Enwa. And we have what is called the second fall of the Roman Empire. Now, we suggested how to take this pawn as overcoming it. Of course, it did deplete everything money-wise into what? So world trade tower centers, nothing but money is constituted and going through there to supply every world and every nation just got dust or dust or dust cloud. Or inhalation, dust inhalation. All the money's dusty. Get too much money, you just dust it. How do you do it? That's what that means. That's what that spirit could constitute throughout its character. Other than gang time. Until you hear variational computations like King Kong. King Kong destroyed New York in the movie. Big old gorilla R8 ran through the city, knocking down buildings, destroying buildings. With the, the advert effects. Was the New York Towers the mastering of King Kong? With the vine that a gorilla would actually living in its habitat be considered pure fresh oxygen rather than the gigantic dust cloud that we all see. Was it the mastery of King Kong? Was it genetic testing? And this just became the planet of the apes? The inquiring agnostic the individuals want to know how to be exempt of it. So we address it as the master of King Kong. We all know King Kong is a jungle element, 
survives off the vines in the jungle, which is a pure edification of oxygen. In its advert state of a natural disaster at that realm, reality is realistic. Out of the touch into the barriers of that. First filming was 1933, King and Kong. New York as it came about. But if you follow the four year process, the 1936 Olympics that was held in Germany were boycotted by America. King Kong came out in 1933 and his school year subjected. 36, 37, the Olympic Games were boycotted. Everyone knows that. Read about that in the book. Which we show effortlessly the exact conjunction of something of that magnitude can happen. The towers that fell. Dust clouds. Well, the Olympics were boycotted, which would be considered a level of oxygen. We have the fastest, most skillful, agile people on the planet Earth competing against each other at their highest levels. So, you'll notice from 1933, the making of King Kong, to the 1936 Olympic Games in a school year, which would be considered 36-37, in its four-year computation, it's suggested of the King Kong got the divine and the oxygen. But the Olympics were boycotted by the United States, France, and others, and Czechoslovakia, and I believe another country. So as you read upon this, how would be considered a lack of oxygen? In the simultaneous four-year um, Olympic Games computation. But if you look at 1976, the Olympic Games were also boycotted. So you have advert effects. King Kong came out in 1933. The Olympic Games were boycotted in 36, which comprised of of course, lack of oxygen. You have the best, you know, icons, Olympians, at that point in time, posters, uh, believables, whether it be family members or somehow related, being subjected to lack of oxygen in 36, 37 Olympic Games. 76, Olympic Games were boycotted. So from 76 to 80, 1980, Mount St. Helens erupted. So we have another dis disparity of lacks of oxygen happening in a boycott. It's just, it is inverted. Whereas you have King Kong 1933 supplying, supplying pure oxygen as just being from the vine in the jungle. And then Olympic Games in 36 being boycotted. Then you have the 1976 Olympic Games being boycotted. And then Mount St. Helens erupted in 1980. So you have to see the divinations of 33 to 36, 37, King Kong came through eight gorilla strong on the big screen supplying nothing but oxygen lines. But from 76, as in computation to 33, 1933, you have a boycott of it, and then Mount St. Helens erupted in 1980. As the real effect of what that's about. So when you have the fall of the Roman Empire, 
1753 to year 1000 AD, 1753 BC, then you have the year 2000 AD, and you have the fall of the towers computing or being registered or in its stat base. True fact, legend, in 1933, King Kong hit. Of course, they did remake the movie again throughout those years, but that's pure oxygen to the vibe flowing through. So, the fall of the Roman Empire in 700s to 1000s, and then happening again in the 2000s, confirmed that the true Roman Empire fell, but it fell again. Also, getting into what we call the private patient care that was established by me, MRH, through the discovery of America, through the 400 year period, for the princess ship, 1593 to 1993, then the 500 year period, from 1492 to 1992, then the 500 year period from 1496, the second voyage, to 1996, you have America discovered through the first empire and second empire, the Roman state, non volcanical by MRH. This is why we get it done here, doing the power clean, weight lifting, grinding it out. So, in the PowerPoint presentation, we just showed you some of the core ethical values of the Olympic history and the games that actually play a part and role in today's society and learning. So coming to a realistic, actual decision to expel McKinley Ranger Helen is viable in my initials. With that, in a stat factual reality, being supernatural, considered phenomena, presented in legend, it is true also. So we'd like to thank you for viewing today. MRH of MRH get your services live in the set, getting it done. All the pretty mamas goes, you know, brother just, oh, you know, we got it down. We got a heavy bag, heavy bag splay all the way through. Make sure uh, baby boy get his lessons. Make sure baby uh, girl get her lessons. New princes and princesses. Uh. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, 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 sit there, guy. So I'm going to come around. That's what I'm going to tell him about what to do. And my HFMIs get these services gone.